Modalities like voodoo flossing present an interesting dilemma for this channel and hardcore evidence lovers like Emil and me, and maybe you as well. There is often limited or unclear research on these subjects, with some evidence pointing to a small benefit mired by the possibility of mere placebo effect, biased results, small sample sizes, and more. Though essential for us to recognize, this can lead to a rather tedious mindset for the average person in which the conclusion is always uncertain and the recommendation vague, a perpetual shrug. So what do we do instead? Do we simply throw out any idea that lacks an overwhelming cascade of perfect evidence? Consider the following. Human studies are hard for a variety of reasons. Funding, complexity, uncontrollable variables, humans are just messy, etc. Exercise science is hard. Many modalities are new and or simply haven't been studied thoroughly. Research that's specific or even loosely relevant to climbing is sparse. Clearly, perfection is not possible as we would be left with very few options to help people and no room for individual experimentation. Alternatively, do we attempt to subvert the inherent grayness of this science with colorful interpretations and bold conclusions? This approach is heavily incentivized by media platform and all too often scientific platforms as well. Of course, the pitfalls of the fitness influencer mindset are too prevalent and obvious to even list. So to ignore the inherent imperfections of human research is foolish, but to accept nothing short of perfection is not productive, and to manipulate it into something more sensational is dangerous and dishonest. Essentially, there is no easy solution. Moreover, whether or not the merits of a particular study or body of research are enough to overcome its flaws will ultimately come down to a bit of an educated guess. The more data we have to work with, the more educated that guest can become, which is why we do these research review videos. Nuanced, critical thinking, and willingness to accept uncertainty will always be the way.